In this video, I'll explain some of the benefits of using ZeroNet to host websites compared to hosting websites on the normal internet or the normal way. So first of all, if you don't know what ZeroNet is, I've got a video series explaining what ZeroNet is and um, I'll put a link to that in the description and also I may put that video on screen now so you can click it. So first of all, uh, ZeroNet itself is, as it says, decentralized. So that means unlike a lot of websites, you don't have one computer or let's say two or three computers which are actually serving the website. So currently this website that I'm on is served by 67 different people. So all the people that use ZeroNet act as peers and you can also go through Tor so you don't need to give anyone your IP address and then because there are 67 different people it doesn't matter if one person goes or even even if a whole country's internet gets cut out the other people that are serving the website can serve it to you so you can actually access the website uh, another benefit of being decentralized it's also not censored in the same way so some websites you may not be able to access in certain countries so that might be either because like the government blocks them so in the case of like China that they often block websites or it might be the case that it's geo blocked so the, the website itself says you're not allowed to view our content if you're in not America or something like that so um, this these web pages are downloaded to your computer so when you disconnect from the internet as I'll do so now you can still access them so if we go on to the zero talk you can still access zero talk even though I'm not connected to the internet I can see what people have um, commented on different things so this thing and you can just look at the comments and upvotes and stuff and all of this is still accessible because the website is downloaded onto your computer so you can just access when you want so because the websites are distributed throughout the internet it means that you don't need one server to host you can just publish it and then ho then when other people view your website because they also host it and uh, they're, they're the peers um, that means that you can just publish your website and then you can just publish at home using your home computer and have a working website the way that you want it to work and there is no not really any other way to do that especially this method is 100% free compared to other methods you have to pay quite a bit for for server costs and you have to pay for a lot of the infrastructure associated with it like domain names in this case you you cannot use a domain name and you can also use dot bit domain names as shown here and dot bit domain names they look like cost like 4p something like that it's not that expensive um, and for about like 4p even less than 4p you can have a domain name and renew it uh, whenever you want so you can have domain names uh, as you want and you can also not have domain names and just have this string which uh, or this piece of text and that is, uh, is associated with your website again a benefit compared to the normal internet is it has Tor built in so you can hide your IP whilst you're serving the websites and also surfing them so you can access websites without exposing your IP now Tor can be used to access normal inter websites on the internet and also can be used to access Tor hidden services however on ZeroNet all people can use Tor and uh, because people like everyone is also serving the website so like 67 people can be serving on the website, many through Tor. The person who actually publishes the stuff for the website on Tor can then leave the swarm or, or leave like seeding it, which means that they are even more anonymous than hosting a website 
using Tor, like as a Tor hidden service, because with a Tor hidden service, you may ha use some like sophisticated algorithms to like um, look at the d traffic through the Tor network and try and find out where the server is located. And for some websites, I think the police have done that. In 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 the, this case, it's not really that important because you're not really. I, I'm sure you don't want to actually host any like drug or illegal stuff like that on ZeroNet. But it is nice to know that you can host a website anonymously. And one big benefit, which really isn't um, advertised as much, is Zero ID. So in this case, I've got an ID, and when I go onto different websites, I can use that ID. So like in Zero Talk, I can log in, or more I'm already logged in, but to upvote something, you need to be logged in. And I am logged in, so I can upvote. Uh, so if I go back here, other websites, so I think, um, I don't know which one, I think this one might be able to. So to upvote, I'm not logged in, so I need to actually like, log in but I so to sign in I can then just use this dot bit uh, domain name which means that the person who created this website can have me comment so my test comment I so I can comment on this person's website which they have created and they've also used a template template website because it's quite easy to make the websites um, without having to go through the very quite difficult process of having users like you know making them make a username and password and have a database of usernames and passwords or alternatively having like stuff where you have to log in with Facebook or log in with Google it's just as simple as just embedding the zero ID uh, in and when he used the template he didn't even need to care about what actually happened in this case so I in this video I've shown you some of the benefits of ZeroNet uh, there are more listed on here so you know uncensored no hosting always accessible even if you're offline and there are no passwords you don't need any passwords and because you've already downloaded the website they're really really fast um, and uh, there are other ways of hosting online like using github pages but you can't really have dynamic content where people can post and stuff like that it's anonymous and it works on all your browsers so I'm showing you in Firefox but it works in Chrome or Safari um, it's also an open source project uh, that's not that important but it just means that the source code is available for you to see so um, I, if you like this video, do give it a like as it would really help. I'll put two videos on the screen which I think you, that you may want to view. And also subscribe to this channel as I have a lot of content that is coming up which is going to be high quality like this one hopefully. Well, thanks and goodbye.